Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm not playing with any cars or submarines. I've been doing a bit of tidy up on the computer and I've got some footage that I've never shown you before. Some of it are projects that I've never finished before or there was no enough footage uh, to make a video or it wasn't good enough. So I've decided to give a second chance to some of them. This one is a diorama that I made when I first started the channel. Uh, you can see on my first videos. Uh, it didn't work as I thought. Uh, with all the detail and the rocks and the plants, uh, the camera were going mental trying to focus when I was doing a video. So I left it behind. And uh, I thought, well, something different that could keep us entertained for a bit. And uh, who knows, you may see in the future, because I'm thinking in giving it a second chance. There's a lot of people out there that they're extremely good, but this is the way I do it. And the first thing that I do is make the basic shape of what I want. And I'm using a wooden board, some polystyrene, uh, some foil, paper, and a lot of white glue. Once I've got the shape of what I want, I'm just starting to add uh, some tissue paper with uh, watered down PVA glue. After that, you'll have something like that. If you don't like it, just keep adding shapes here and there. Make some nice like caves and interesting features that they're gonna look alright on a picture or a video. And uh, once I'm happy with it, I'm just gonna cover everything with polyfiller. And now I'm just gonna put some rocks and pebbles, uh, different sizes, it doesn't matter the color, they're just from my garden anyway. I also got some sand from Seaside that I brought back from my holidays in Wales. And I've got these little rocks from the pound shop for a pound. And also got some flock that I'm gonna show you how to make. This is just normal sawdust that I bought in a bag in my bell sander. And I pass it through a sieve, you know, just to get rid of the big chunks. And I'm gonna use some acrylic paints and mix everything in a jar. Don't forget to close the lid properly. Then I just keep adding more sawdust until it's absorbed all the liquid and it's almost dry.
once I'm happy with it, I just put it on a piece of paper and leave it to dry. Now I'm just going to glue some rocks and sand and pebbles to give it different textures. This is your world and like Bob Ross says, if you want a happy tree there, just put a happy tree there. And after doing all that, you'll have your bench completely covered in sand. And now to secure all them rocks and sand and everything, I'm just gonna put some uh, watered down PVA glue all over. Once it's dry, and I'm happy with it, I'm just gonna give everything a coat of grey. And I'm using these cheap uh, testers from Wilco, because they only cost a pound, and you got enough paint to last you forever. You don't have to use an airbrush, I'm just using it here, because it was like a year ago, and I wanted to do some practice with it, that's all. But you can paint it with a brush or with whatever you want. For some reason, I decided to paint the base at this stage. Uh, bad idea, because it got covered in crap again. I've done a few washes uh, with just acrylic paints and water, because obviously not all the rocks have the same color. So I made a light and a dark one. After that, I just need to seal everything with PVA glue and a bit of water so this wash don't get washed by the next one which is gonna be black. After that, I'm just gonna dry brush some white highlights. It's not actually white, it's off white because the white is a bit too bright.
after that i'm just gonna do the road uh, and i'm just gonna put some pva glue and i'm gonna start putting some flock on different colors After that, I just need to add some vegetation and make sure that you put some behind the rocks as well, no just glue it on top of everything. And to finish it off, I'm just gonna add some herbs and spices. Rosemary looks like little twigs. Cardamom for light patches of sun or make it look dusty. Basil, it looks like little leaves in different sizes and colors. And cinnamon, cause it smells nice. A bit of turmeric for the yellow musk that grows on the rocks. And some poppy seeds, like uh, round pebbles. And after that, when I'm happy with the seasoning, I just have to seal everything again with more PVA glue. And this is what it looked a year ago. Since then, I've added a couple more things, you know, like pieces of lighters, some pens, wheels, every other part of a broken car, you know, your windshields and your bumpers, axles, you know, bits of lighters and pens, because I use them on my cars, so it's not strange that they're actually on my yard. So, time to go. A bit of a different video today. I hope you liked it. And uh, I don't know. I may give you a second chance. Let me know what you think. And I'm leaving you now with some pictures that I took recently. And uh, I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.